Hey, this is Ashley here. Wanted to share with you all some of the things I've been studying over the past few days. Um, I started in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And that's typically considered the love chapter. It just talks about what love is and what love is not. And so I got to verse 4 and it really spoke volumes to me because I started deep diving on some of these definitions and I wanted to share those with you on today. So I'm going to read it first, then we're going to get into the, to the definitions part. But 1 Corinthians 13, 4 says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, boastful, or proud. So I looked up what that word jealous means. And it means an intense desire to advance at the disadvantage of someone else. <sighs> wow. This definition made me kind of self-reflect a little bit because if at any time I have to pull someone else down in order to make myself feel better, or if I have to pull someone else down in order to make myself look good, then I've really lost what it means to love that person. And not only that, but it's truly an admission of my own fear and my own insecurity. You know, we only see in others what we see in ourselves. And so if I'm looking at someone else with negativity and mean words, then that's truly an indicator of how I feel about myself internally. And so then I have to analyze, can I celebrate other people? Can I see other people win and succeed? Even if they're not my cup of tea per se, can I still see them do well in life and genuinely be happy for them? If not, I gotta start analyzing some things about how I feel about myself. This second word boastful here means a desire to obtain adoration or acknowledgement from others by explaining to them your own self-worth. You know, in this new season that my husband and I have stepped into, I'm realizing more and more that it's not about what I say, but it's all about what you do. It's all about what you do. People know who you are and what you believe through what you do. And there's that old saying out there that actions speak louder than words. Man, that's so true. Because we're only going to do those things in which we truly believe in. And so people really, they're not listening to what you say, but they're watching you. What are you doing? And if you're able to love, if you're able to show, celebrate others and show love, you're truly walking in love at that point. So I want to encourage all of you all this morning to continue to love, continue to celebrate others, continue to not just be about it, but walk it like you talk it, as Migo says, and continue to love others and be free. This is Ashley letting you know that you are purposefully loved by God.